Thank you, Kian Korla. Today's debate is about low standards. It is about credibility, it is about trust, but most of all is how government business is done by Fine Gael. Last week, Leo Varadkar admitted to leaking a highly confidential document. When his colleague, the then Minister for Health, was asked to leak the very same document, he refused. Yet the leader of Fine Gael passed a document marked confidential and not for circulation to a personal friend and a political supporter. He gave it to an individual and an organisation that stood to gain organisationally and financially from securing that privileged information. Leo Varadkar's claim that he did this in the public interest is simply not credible. The government was not talking to the National Association of General Practitioners, and that organisation had a history of seeking to undermine previous GP contracts. The simple fact is the leader of Fine Gael broke the rules. He breached the confidentiality of Cabinet and sensitive government contract negotiations, all to give a dig out to a friend. If anyone did this in any other job, they would be sacked. Just because he was head of government does not mean lower standards should be applied. But of course we know this is how Fine Gael does business. They look after those on the inside while leaving the vast majority behind. How many former Fine Gael TDs and ministers are now corporate lobbyists? Enda Kenny and Venture Wage Capital. Brian Hayes and the Banking Payments Federation. Michael Darcy and the Irish Association of Investment Managers, and I could name many, many more. Indeed, it seems Fine Gael is fertile recruiting ground for lobbyists who trade in access and influence. But all of this has a price. Ordinary people pay the consequence for such insider trading. That is why the private sector has a privileged position in housing policy why government gives more money to big developers and institutional landlords than local authorities and approved housing bodies, why investment funds pay virtually no tax but charge sky-high rents, why banks are bailed out but struggling mortgage holders are left to fend for themselves, and why we have, thanks not only to the current Minister for Housing but his predecessor, the worst social and affordable housing crisis in recent history. Now today, TDs have a clear choice. They can vote confidence in Leo Varadkar and send out a clear signal that all of this is okay, that Fine Gael are still in charge and are calling the shots. Or deputies can say, enough is enough. It is time to end low standards in high places. It is time to end insider dealing. It is time for a government that looks out for everyone and not just its friends. Thank you, Ken Corlett.